gentlemen, top in the charts on today's news. Knicks fans, are they delusional? I mean, as a New Yorker myself, we literally just have the equivalent of Krillin, Yamcha, and maybe Yajirobe left on the team for tonight's game. And in other news, there's been reports of Bottle Girls fighting the venues and lounges DJs as they continue playing on repeat BBL Drizzy. Furthermore, later on the news, Little Nipples. What does that say about you if you have them? But we're going to go ahead and go into more pressing matters, which is predictions on tomorrow's finale for X-Men 97. I am your news anchor, Gary. Sit down, relax, grab some snacks, because we're going to about to predict some shit. Now, speaking directly to the audience, if you have not seen any episodes of X-Men 97 or are waiting until the weekend to watch anything related to the finale, please skip this video because it might just be spoiler heavy. As many have known, for the first time ever, in my opinion, the episode before the finale was probably the worst paced episode we've had from X-Men 97, but it has left by far one of the most hugest cliffhangers, which is leading the internet to predict, as many would with any other series coming out, what do I think may happen tomorrow? I don't know. Mr. DeMeo keeps writing on Twitter about us having to do homework, what may or may not happen. So here are a few predictions that I at least have, and then y'all tell me whether I'm stupid or not once the episode drops. Before we get into our predictions, please be on the lookout later on this week for a complete review, first review I've ever done on this channel of X-Men 97. So prediction number one, last we left Jean Grey, she was fighting a controlled cable. I do believe that we might in some way, shape or form see the Phoenix or at least some more Omega level occurrences happen in this fight with her and Cable. Let's go ahead and get the most tired and obvious prediction out the way, which is Onslaught. For those of you who don't know, Onslaught is basically a merge of Professor Xavier and Magnus himself to create one being named Onslaught. Seems to be happening. Another prediction that we could get out the way is Wolverine getting his adamantium completely ripped out of him. We saw bits of it happening before the episode ended, so it seems like we're going back to Bone Claw Wolverine. I do believe we might just get one more death in the X-Men family. Do I think it may be Forge? Do I think it may be Cable? I don't know yet. But I do believe we'll get, we might get one death. It might just be Jubilee. I don't know. I think the finale will end with either Xavier or Magnus being completely incapacitated or maybe they just may just be onslaught and go do their own thing leaving both got and possibly emma frost taking over the x-men for the next season i believe with the horrible pacing of the last episode we might just get bastion the fuck up out of here as soon as possible which may suck because he was leading to be by far one of the most interesting villains that i have seen in quite a while also if you have been following the head writer and director of X-Men 97, you would know that he has already stated, giving us, the viewers, these weekly homeworks, as he likes to say, on what may come next. He has stated that a certain Star Trek episode was the inspiration for the finale. This Star Trek episode has a lot to do with time loops. And if anything in the Island of Genosha has seemed happen, we have gotten hints by Cable saying, that he has tried to change the events, but for whatever reason, time has not allowed him to. As well as seeing the watchers in the background, which as we know, when they're paying attention, shit's about to happen. This just in, we're getting a call from the channel's thumbnail editor, who seems to be an expert on what may or may not happen. We're gonna go over to Sloppy. Sloppy, what do you have to say? What are your predictions, Sloppy? I think that the same way they've been like taking Gambit out of the intro and putting Magneto in and shit like that, they're gonna have uh, Apocalypse come and just take over the, maybe not Apocalypse, but I feel like somebody's gonna take over the intro. That's first thing, I might be wrong, I don't know. And then I think you're gonna see Apocalypse in this episode, even if it's just for a moment. And uh, you're gonna see the Jean Grey trying to get 
Wolverine, you know, because he just got fucked up by Magneto and he's gonna get the bone claws. And I think we headed for Apocalypse and then Avengers versus X-Men. That's just my prediction. Now don't only take my word for it. Mr. DeMeo himself has gone on record on Twitter or X or whatever we are calling it nowadays. He has also went on record saying that tonight he will release the final homework, as he likes to put it, which may just give us a hint on where this season may end. So tune into his Twitter to find out any hints if you can't wait a few hours. And lastly, we will go to you guys over on Twitter, X or whatever the hell we're calling it and see what predictions you guys have came up with or what you guys may think may not happen. We have Vic saying, one, Onslaught is coming, as we have stated ourselves. Emphasis on the fake deaths of both Professor and X, Professor X and Magneto, the male reference to Fatal Attractions. Number two, Gambit's return as death. Emphasis on Cable's history fighting Apocalypse in his intro scene, traditional death imagery of Gambit in Professor X's psychic vision of the Genosha attack. And three, Emma Frost joins the X-Men, diamond form new, my, minus points because the male hates Emma Frost. News to us here. And again, it pops up. Avengers versus X-Men? Question mark. We did see Captain America being a little, little sus. A little sussy baka. So maybe now that the world has seen what mutants can do by the hands of Magneto himself, maybe we might just see the, the, the Avengers come in and handle some shit themselves. We have R Roberto saying number one for him, Hellfire Club. Number two, Hellfire Club Sentinels. And number three, Prime Sentinels. And he finishes the tweet by saying, and the Operation Zero Tolerance storyline integrated into this storyline. Maybe I'm right, maybe I'm 100% wrong. I don't know, but Roberto, we might just see tomorrow. We have Mailman Detective himself saying, Season 2 will have a major focus on Apocalypse. Gambit is death, Wolverine is war, and I think Rogue will be one. Because she's been, she's been on that villainous edge. The final push once Magneto becomes comatose, the Four Horsemen, I think will be someone we haven't seen yet, or maybe this is how Bishop comes back. Gerald says, big twist in episode 10. I have no idea what will be, but somehow it will be, uh, it would involve Mystique. She's been MIA all season. Could happen. Armis. Armis Hall says, the, Phoenix, the return of the Phoenix. More Avenger cameos, maybe Nick Fury, Iron Man. Hopefully more Spider-Man or other characters, Daredevil, Black Panther, or New York heroes. And teasing Apocalypse and teasing the return of Gambit for season two. Gambit seems to be everybody's favorite so far. Will these predictions come to case? Is this video in not? Am I just a stupid YouTuber? Who has to wear a shirt because if you don't wear a shirt pertaining to the topic did you really make a video tune in tomorrow for the season finale tune in for later this week when we release our review on x-men 97 which is damn near perfect with some gripes that i may have comment down below what your predictions are share this with someone who is a huge fan of x-men and lastly hit that subscribe button see you guys later this has been the news See man, I, I don't know why he showed his nipple on the on the on the internet, but I'm gonna use it for content. So nipples it is.